with over 110,000 already on the roads and ambitious plans for many more, the Dutch have really started to embrace electric cars. To explain the reasons why is Annabel van Zandt from Living Lab Smart Charging, a think tank focused on electrifying transport. In the Netherlands, over the past couple of years, we have really worked on a nationwide network of charging infrastructure. So you can almost be certain that when you drive somewhere, there will be at least one or two charging points. In fact, in the Netherlands, a country about half the size of our own, there are over 27,000 public chargers, while back in Ireland, there are little more than 1,200. Annabelle, we're trying to move towards a future where we decarbonise our transport system. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing in the Netherlands to achieve this. Well, first of all, it's really important to get this model shift, so people who are now travelling by car get them, for instance, to cycles. But then the big challenge is also the transportation that is there, and you know that you can't just get rid of all the cars. How do you make them as sustainable as possible? And not only private cars, um, but also buses and trains. Do you expect the number of electric vehicles to grow in the Netherlands over the coming years? Yes, what we already see is that the number of electric cars is increasing significantly and almost in an exponential way. And as the Netherlands, we have made an agreement that in 2025 we won one million electric cars. Tell me a little bit about the challenges of doing that. We run into several grid issues. So how can we balance the grid with more electric cars that will charge at the same time in the morning and in the evening, more renewable energy that has a different pattern, so it's more or less produced over the day. And how can we combine those two and how can we couple them in an efficient way? And in the Netherlands, we believe that part of it is really using the battery of an electric vehicle as a vital element in this. So you can charge your car when there is plenty of solar, wind and renewable energy. And in the evening, when there is a high peak load on the grid, you can use the energy from your car and not transport all the energy in the grid. So you're talking about integrating the system, you're talking about making this a smart system where the yeah. car works with the grid. Yeah, so what we see now, and we also try to research this, and we do a lot of tests to make this a standard, not only in the Netherlands, but internationally. So in the Netherlands, there are indeed pilots, and there are certain areas that already make use of this concept. What Annabel described is fascinating. To see it in action, I went to meet Robin Berg, an entrepreneur who has turned this concept into an exciting new business. Uh, we started actually as an internet company and then we really started looking for better ways to make a better business case for solar. So now we use electric cars as storage for renewable energies here in, in the neighbourhood and the cars are being used in a car sharing programme. Robin's business model is ingenious using the electric car battery to help balance the natural fluctuations of renewable energy. This means that when supply is high, the cars are charging on cheap renewable power. But when supply is low, they return some of that stored energy to power homes. So you have a huge battery right in front of your house. It can power up your house for like two weeks. And that's just sitting there just for driving. And basically, for driving, you use only like a quarter of the battery for your daily commute. But most of the time, you don't use the, that, the rest of the battery in your car. And that's really a waste. And at the moment, are you in a situation where your car can power up your house? Or is the infrastructure not there yet for that? Yeah, we actually had the first uh, charging station in Europe that could do both ways. So not only charging on the sun, but also discharge a car. And basically, we can run now for 24 hours a day on our own solar power by using the car battery as a storage. How many of these type of chargers are there where you can both charge up your car but also discharge it? Are they becoming more frequent? Yeah, we have now like 50 of those chargers here in the Utrecht region um, and we are scaling up and that will in, in the end make it, it a cleaner and cheaper system. His ambitions don't stop there. He's taken this a step further with the car sharing scheme Okay, so tell me a bit about then this shared car scheme. What we did is basically offer a car in a car sharing program in which people for 100 euros a month can actually drive a fully electric car on a daily basis. Yeah. And this is one of your cars here then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is one of the, the, the cars we are using. We have now like 30 of these cars uh, in operation. 
and we have a really simple app which you can use to open it up. Can you show me? Yeah, sure. And just click open and then check in. So that's basically how simple it is. And now can, I can uh, start and drive. That's brilliant. Yeah. And everything comes from solar energy. Everything that, that fuels this car is all solar. Yeah, these charging stations are connected directly to our solar installations on the, the, the roof of the schools we have here. Mm -hmm. 